We're in our cozies today. We're having a self-care day. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. I, over the last like five years, have really become more in tune with my body and my anxiety. I deal with anxiety and, I, and I'm and i learning that everyone deals with anxiety in different ways and everyone has different, I don't wanna say types of anxiety, but it, anxiety manifests in different ways. Like for me, it's very physical. I get very, I mean, it's definitely in my mind, but I like have different physical symptoms when I'm anxious so through the years going to therapy and just being more aware of my body and just everything like that um, I've kind of got my own little toolbox physical and non-physical of things I do when I need to relax when I want to relax my mind and just some like little everyday practices that I do I am by no means a doctor a psychologist anything of the sort but I know when I do talk about my anxiety, you guys really appreciate it. So this is just gonna be like a super chill video. I'm about to do my skincare. Um, and I find that doing my skincare in the morning when I wake up, it's kind of a newer thing. I've just been loving. Mindfulness will be a big theme in this video because I find when I pay attention to whatever I'm doing in that moment. It allows me to forget about all the coulds, shoulds, the woulds that are in my brain. I feel like that's a lot of anxiety. It's like, oh, what if this happens? Or should I be doing this? Or the overthinking, the people pleaser. There's just so much going on in my mind. So when I wake up in the morning and I, I already did my facial peel pads, like I wiped my face and I showered and in the morning when I'm just doing my skincare, I'm thinking about this in this present moment. I'm not saying skincare is gonna cure anything. I'm just saying, this is a part of my morning routine and it, I've found it's really settled me. And I, what I love about the morning is I feel like, I, I talk about this on the podcast, I feel like the morning is the most innocent time of day. Like you first open your eyes, you hear birds chirping outside or maybe you don't, maybe you hear ambulances like I do here in New York, but you kind of forget about all the stresses that you had before you went to bed, at least for me. However, sometimes I do wake up anxious and I can totally relate to that too but um, I drink decaf coffee. It was a decision I made two years ago, a little bit after living in New York and it's changed the game. And I still drink decaf because I love coffee so much that for me, it's not like, oh, I'm gonna drink tea. Like I like tea too, but I love coffee. And so I didn't wanna give it up completely. Sometimes like this past weekend, I had a cup of coffee, a normal cup of coffee. It's all about like being aware of your body. But ever since I've cut, caffeine out of my life for the most part. I'm so much more calm and I'm not all jittery. I don't know, I highly suggest if you use a Keurig or an espresso to have a couple decaf pods around in case you're like, I want a second cup or I just want that feeling but I I don't want like all the caffeine. I swear I still feel a little, a little buzz from decaf coffee. Like I really do. Like sometimes I'm like, ooh, I can't have another. Like I know that sounds crazy but my body is so sensitive now to it that it's kind of perfect. So with that, I think we need to make a cup of coffee. Welcome to my coffee station. Um, it's nothing crazy, but this video is all about being intentional and I'm just showing you guys these little things that make me happy and make me feel relaxed. Please do not take this so seriously. These are just little things. I know this isn't going to cure anything, but these are little things in my daily routine that make me happy and calm me down. So with decaf, a lot of people talk about how the way they decaffeinate coffee beans um, they use chemicals and when I found that out I really looked into it and so you want to use decaf coffee that uses the Swiss water method. Essentially the Swiss water process removes caffeine by gently soaking beans in a water solution for just over eight hours. So this is the brand I get. It's from Amazon. I use Keurig so these are Keurig pods. When I, op I opened a fresh bag this morning and it smells so good. I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee. I truly find the act of making coffee so therapeutic. I think that's part of the reason I haven't wanted to let it go. People laugh at me because I'm so dramatic about my first sip, but that first sip in the morning truly brings me to joy. <sighs> I've been talking about my therapist a lot recently. I love her so much. And she recently told me, I kid you not, she recently told me that she's retiring in May. Um, so thankfully for better help, it's gonna be very easy to find a new therapist, but I'm definitely like so sad. 
This video is sponsored by BetterHelp, so thank you so much for sponsoring this video. BetterHelp connects you with a licensed professional therapist that you can just meet with on your computer, on the phone. It's such an easy situation, and if you're not, if you're not loving or not meshing with that therapist, they will help you get a new one, which is so nice. Because I feel like half the battle with therapy, and some of my friends have been on the fence if they want to do therapy, is finding the therapist. It's really stressful, it can be overwhelming, and you're talking to all your friends. That's why BetterHelp is amazing because they're gonna match you with a licensed therapist. You basically just answer a few questions and then BetterHelp will do their magic and match you. So like I said, you can do it from your phone, your computer, or you can actually message too. It's just nice because I don't know if I would really stick to therapy if I had to go into an office. I don't know, I just don't think I would, but since I can do it from the comfort of my own home, I can light my candles, I can have my cup of tea, whatever it may be, um, I'm more prone to do it and I'm more regular with it. And by being more regular with therapy, I feel so much more relaxed. And I talk about this on the podcast a lot too and on my videos. Sometimes I feel like, oh, I have nothing to talk to my therapist about today. But then as soon as we hop on and she asks me a couple questions, I'm like, wow, I really needed this and I didn't realize. So I think it's about maintaining your mental health and maintaining talking to someone rather than like, oh, this huge thing just happened. I have to go to therapy. I think there's a place for both of those to happen. So let BetterHelp connect you to a therapist who can help support you. If you go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn or you choose Danielle Carolyn at sign up, you can enjoy a special discount on your first month of BetterHelp. So again, I love therapy so much. And in May, when my current therapist is retiring, I'm gonna find a new one. And I, I was nervous at first, but you know what? Now I'm realizing it's gonna be so easy because I'll get matched within, usually within 48 hours. So it'll be quick too. <laughs> so this is from the brand Sage Natural Wellness, S-A-J-E. They used to have a store here in Soho that I loved so much. And then it closed down. Um, when I was recently in Toronto, there was a store and I got really excited. So this is like my tried and true. This is the stress release soothing oil blend. On one side, it's like a dropper. And then on this side, which I use more, I would say is the roller ball, roller ball. Um, so this is a soothing oil blend and it has all kinds of different um, essential oils in here. It smells so good. Like it smells so relaxing. I also sometimes will use eucalyptus. It just depends but this is kind of my tried and true because it has a few different ones in there. Um, so you can put it wherever you want. You could put it on your neck, whatever. For me, all I need is a sniff. Usually I'll just put it a little bit under my nose right here. It doesn't make my skin dry or anything right here. Um, my skin's randomly dry right here, but I don't put the oil there. So just so you guys know. But let's say like sometimes I've been at dinner and I start to get randomly anxious for no reason. Sometimes I just get wound up. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm just like, <sighs> like I'm excited. But I feel I've, my therapist tells me that your mind does it, your body doesn't know the difference between stress and excitement because it's the same feeling. So sometimes I have to tell myself, no, you're excited, you're excited. It's not stress, you're excited. But then I start to freak out sometimes. So anyways, so when I'm overwhelmed, I could be at an event, I could be at dinner with friends, I could just be sitting around on the couch with people. I will literally, I mean, I'll do it in front of some of my closest friends, but sometimes people get weirded out. So I'll just like go to the bathroom and just so I can be completely alone and I will just take a couple deep breaths and take true deep breaths. Cause for me, and not everyone has this problem, but it's hard for me to just take a couple deep breaths. I, I know that's bad. My mom's like, we gotta work on that. But it's not hard for me if I have something to smell. I love scents. I feel like I'm always talking about scents on my channel, whether it's perfume, candles, whatever. I'm very stimulated by scents in a really good way. And I'm so glad that I found that to be peaceful for me. So anyways, this really helps. I used to bring this, um, it was like a different scent. It was called Breathe from doTERRA. I used to bring this to class and before tests, it's specific my stats class, we would all pass this down. The, I feel like I have it in vlogs, in old college vlogs. We'd all sniff this, put a little under our nose before the test and it really calmed us down. So I know it's not just for me, it works for other my friends too. This is the same scent, Stress Release from Sage, but this is a soothing nasal inhaler. It's, a, it's funny. So it's the same thing. It just has the scent inside. There's not, you can't put it on your skin at all. This, this shit's good. Oh, I love it so much. So this is good if you don't want to put it um, under your nose or anything. I just literally breathe in. And this is kind of nice if you don't want to like, a, not a, offend the people around you with the scent because you're not putting it on your skin. It's just kind of stays right here. 
So on planes, I'll use this a lot if someone like, if it smells weird or whatever, I'll just, so. These guys are my best friends. And these are just like little things to help with your toolbox, so I love. So tomorrow I have a very, very busy, overwhelming day. Just like a lot of moving parts. And it's really easy, I feel like, if you have a busy work day or lots of schoolwork, whatever it may be, I feel like it's so easy to be like, ah, okay, I'm just gonna like try to survive through it all. For me, when I write things down on pen and paper and see things out hourly, see my to-do list, I prioritize things, it really, really helps. This is like not a plug, but also a plug because I just, this is a planner, this is a day book we call it, that I designed with doing all daily. So this is exactly what I want in a day. So I'm really lucky. On this side, this is how I start my morning when I'm drinking my coffee. Um, I'll have a link below. It's Danielle, it's my doing well daily in the city version because I did one in college as well. This is my motivational side. So I write my affirmations, my goals. I trace the quote, it's very therapeutic. Um, what I'm gonna do for wellness, what I'm gonna do for nourishment. On this side, however, this is like my get her done side. Really, really helps. Like tomorrow morning I will wake up and I will fill out each and every single thing here and seeing it all laid out, I'm like, okay, it's not as bad as I thought because I feel like when you have random post-it notes everywhere and you have things on your Google Cal, but you also have things written down and then things that you haven't written down, but you just know you have to do like, that stresses me out. I need everything on one page. So I'll have my hourly things here, random notes, and then I usually will do work and life to-dos. So this is my work to-do list. This is my life to-do list. So when I say life to-do list, like random errands, or if I need to book a doctor's appointment, stuff like that, on this side, it's all work stuff. And then on super stressful days, <laughs> AKA tomorrow, I will literally write numbered priorities. So film this one call this person too. Like I have it so that if something's like, maybe some of the things I have to do tomorrow, some of them are like do, like do tomorrow and also do tomorrow. So it's like, okay, film and then edit one and two. Like make sure those are done before like five o'clock end of day. And that really helps me too. So I'm like, I know what I need to be doing right now. It kind of helps with mindfulness as well. So I just thought I'd point that out because it's really, really, really helped me um, kind of get everything done in a peaceful manner, kind of. <laughs> This is something else that growing up with Pizza Michelle we would do. People always say this, like how moving your body is so good, whether that's going for a walk, which I love to do, or dancing. Dancing releases endorphins. Endorphins make you feel good. It also just helps release positive hormones into your system. So like for me, when I was living at home, when I'd be home from college, whatever it may be, we had an Alexa, I don't wanna say her name too loud. And we would say, insert name here, play, blah, blah. We did a lot of like Doja Cat, Dua Lipa, stuff like that. And we would literally dance to three songs every day. It seriously helps. Like sometimes, especially when I'm experiencing lots of physical anxiety and I just feel all this pressure, moving my body feels so, so, so good. I'm not gonna like play music right now because copyright once again, but if I have time, I'll dance to three songs, but usually for me, it's like one and then I'm like out the door. I don't know how to explain it and it sounds weird, but if you live alone, you do it all the time. And if you live with a roommate, ask them to join like, woo, like I am stressed today. Like, I know this all sounds so silly, but I'm just sharing stuff with you guys that really helps and it just feels so good. Same reason why people like to work out. It's just all kind of, tuning into your body and being so aware of like what feels right. I feel like even now I can tell if I'm getting sick because I just know how my body should feel. And when it's off, I'm really like so in tune with myself and that takes time. But I highly suggest you to just kind of pay attention to when you're feeling your best. Who are you with? What are you doing? I recently made a list on my phone of things that bring me joy and things that bring me stress. Like I know certain situations that or certain people even that just make me feel more stressed. So I know going into it to prepare myself. Something that really helps me clear my mind and that's kind of going back to the mindfulness I was talking about is cleaning, doing the dishes, putting, uh, I hate putting away laundry, putting, but putting things away, folding things, doing my laundry, washing dishes, cleaning my countertops. All of that is so, satisfying to me and very therapeutic. And a lot of you guys, I mentioned that in a vlog recently, and a lot of you said the same thing that you agreed. It just, 
it takes your mind off of things. It really just brings my mind into the present. I'm not thinking about the woulds, the shoulds, the coulds, what could happen. I'm thinking about, oh, this surface spray, it smells really good, or oh, I need to get that spot in the corner. Um, it's just kind of all about calming the nervous system for me. And sometimes that's cleaning. Actually, a lot of the times, like if I'm sitting at my computer and I'm feeling really overwhelmed and I see shit all over my apartment that needs to be put away or clean, sometimes I'll just give myself a quick 30 minutes or 20 minutes to just kind of touch up around my apartment, maybe like make my bed, just little things so that when I sit down at my computer, I feel like I'm in a calming space. I feel like it's very important to keep your space calm. Like. Honestly, today my apartment's a little messy because I just got back from a trip. So by unpacking and everything, that'll just make me feel better in the long run. Um, so I make time to do that just because I know it's just gonna, like I always say, if my apartment's a mess, I'm a mess and I'm not kidding. I'm gonna head out for a quick little walk. I love going for mindfulness walks. In this case today, um, I need more tampons. I'm on my period, of course, too. Just big self-care day. Um, and I need to pick a couple other things up, grab a couple groceries, just a few random things. So sometimes I like to put in my earbuds, but today I'm gonna do a mindfulness walk. I learned this, one of my friends in high school would talk about this, her name is Megan, shout out. And basically the idea of mindfulness walks is like when you're going on a walk, you're not overstimulated by something in your ear. You are literally paying attention to the sounds. I'm people watching. I'm looking up at the trees. I'm looking up at the sky. I'm looking at the colors people are wearing. I'm smelling in the smells. In New York, it's not always the best smell, but it kind of really bring, it calms my nervous system down so much. And of course, just getting in fresh air is always <laughs> ideal. Um, and just going for a little walk. I've also been trying to hit 10 to 15,000 steps a day. It's usually around 10,000. Um, 10,000 is actually really hard to hit. Um, I'm thankful that in New York, I'm able to hit it a lot because I walk a lot of places, but I think about it like, if you live somewhere where you're driving to work, you're driving to do your errands, you have to purposely go for a walk or go on the treadmill in order to get those steps. So I'm feeling very lucky in that aspect, but we're gonna go outside, we're gonna get a little walk in and we're gonna be mindful. Let's go. Bonus points if you're on your walk and you get sunshine, we love that. So I'm literally just like taking in all the sights, all the sounds. People watching is the best in New York, of course, so I can't complain. And today's an extra special day because the sun is out. It's literally end of March and I'm still in a puffer jacket, but it's fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Empire State Building looking cute today. It literally feels so good to be outside. I feel instantly refreshed. I really hope you found some sort of peace in this video or you know, maybe some ideas of things to add to your toolbox. I love you guys so much and if you liked this video, let me know. I'm always happy to do more videos like this or about this topic. I definitely get wary because I want to make sure I'm just sharing my experience, but I find it helpful when people share theirs. So I love you guys so much. Thanks so much to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. You can go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn to get a special discount on your first month. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.